If you want to join the class, there will be a phone number down below. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to a new video and I am Bella and the video that I have for you guys today, yeah you, is me going to be doing an interview with Vanda who is a fifth dang Aikido expert. So without further ado, let's get on this video. Let's go. Hello, Vanda. Is Hello, today Isabella. Today's been a good day. Uh, today's been a very good day. Thank <laughs> okay, you. so first of all, is it true that you were the first person to win the Gladiators? That's UK? right. Yes, I was. I was one of the contestants, and uh, I took part in the various shows as a contestant. Came through to the the finals, and then I actually won the series. So I was the first female. Uh, contestant for the London Weekend Television uh, Gladiator series. So there was an American series, but I was the first winner of the English series. The ultimate challenge, the might of the gladiators. Hello and welcome, Vanda. Good evening, everybody. Vanda, you're a senior staff nurse at St Mary's uh, Hospital in Paddington in London. Now, when you first took part in the very first heat of Gladiators, did you ever visualise standing here tonight, taking part in the grand final? Well, I was going to give it all that I'd got, but I must admit, I didn't anticipate being all tonight. If you won the female Gladiators Championship. Well, I can honestly say it would be incredible. After all, this is the ultimate challenge and I'm going to do it! Did you think you were going to win? Uh, no, I didn't. When I started it, I thought I'm just going to try my best and see how I go. And then I uh, won different events and I decided that actually, yeah, I've got the confidence to do this. I could be okay. And it was a really enjoyable experience. So it was a pleasure to take part and an even more of a bonus to win. So what exactly did you have to do in the gladiators? Uh, you took part in different like strength, stamina, skill events. Um, you were doing it with other competitors, but you you were competing against the gladiators and they were uh, people who were being paid to basically prevent you do well at the certain games and you had to um, beat them or do better than them in these different challenges. So it's to do with the physical challenges or to do with maybe mental challenges that you had to win. How did you feel? How did I feel? Oh, well, I was elated to win, if that's what you mean. Yeah, it was fantastic. <coughs> really great experience. Okay. Okay. The audience give her a much deserved ovation. What a great contender she's been. Tremendous sportsmanship. She gets the trophy five. If you want to see the video, link in the description down below. So now for the Aikido question. So okay. do you do Tomaki Aikido? I do Tomiki Aikido. Yes, Tomiki Aikido is uh, named after the person who do developed the style of Aikido. So mm -hmm. the style of Aikido is Tomiki, but the actual martial art is Aikido. What is the difference between Aikido and Tomiki Aikido? Uh, well, they're really one and the same. So Aikido is a defensive martial art that uses the opponent's energy uh, and momentum to either restrain or to throw. So I wouldn't do Aikido here sitting at while we're sitting still like this but if you should attack me if you should throw a punch or go to grab me then I could use that energy against you to throw or restrain so the style of Aikido that I do is Tamiki Aikido which is developed by Kenji Tamiki so he was the professor of Aikido this style of Aikido that I do and he developed a sporting style so that within the type of Aikido that I do we did take part in competitions as well as do our normal practice do you know the history on how that even began, all of this? Uh, yes, yes, I've got a, a good understanding of what's involved. Yes. Can you tell me please? Uh, <laughs> okay, so Kenji Tamiki was one of the, um, how can I say, one of the students of uh, Weshaba, uh, Morihei Weshaba, who was like one of the Aikido masters. And like lots of martial arts, what tends to happen is you have a master and then you have students and then after those students break off into different branches and they develop their own style. So uh, Tamiki, Kenji Tamiki developed uh, his style of Aikido because he not only did Aikido, he did Judo as well. And he developed this style of Aikido that allowed people to train and do various skills so that they could actually have good building blocks and a good teaching system to be able to learn his style of Aikido. 
How long have you been doing Aikido for? Uh, well, now, Isabella, that would uh, mean me telling you how old I am, so I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I did start Aikido when I was 14, so quite a while ago, more than 30 years ago. Okay, how exact how exactly did you even begin to, to do, do Aikido? Aikido? So uh, my father made me and my sister and uh, did you notice the word made? I didn't have a choice about this. He made me and my sister go go to learn a martial art. He wanted us to learn to uh, have a bit more resilience, a bit more self confidence, and to learn some sort of sport that we would enjoy. And that was a uh, involved lots of people taking part. So he found the Aikido club that we went to originally and so my, myself and my sister started at the same time and we both did it for about two years and then my sister decided she didn't want to do it anymore so it was my dad that made me go but I'm very pleased that he did How long would it exactly take for you to be like very more like more strong mentally and kind of physically as well How long like I think it really What are the skills that, that you could Okay, so to answer the question on how long does it take you to get mentally strong and physically strong, it really depends on you as an individual, how much effort you want to put in, I think. Um, no matter whether it's Aikido or Judo or football or gymnastics, it depends on a lot on how much self-drive you have and also to a certain extent uh, what your teacher's like. So if you have a teacher who you think is a good role model, who um, is a very good coach, so can encourage you to develop yourself, um, then obviously that's a good building block for you to get better and to build strength, stamina and the get, get the most out of the sport that you can. What are the skills that you can learn in Aikido? Uh, okay, so Aikido is a defensive martial art. So the basic skills that you're learning is how to defend yourself in a situation where somebody attacks you. Um, it also, if you if you feel confident about your ability to be able to defend yourself, then you're going to feel like you've got more confidence, um, and that should really affect the way your outlook on things. Uh, but I didn't do uh, Tamiki Aikido really as a self-defense. I enjoyed it as a sport initially. Yeah. So as a way of keeping physically fit, and I think if you're physically fit, then you get mental health, good health as well. Do you think kids will love this sport? Oh, definitely, yes. Aikido is a great sport for children, Tamiki Aikido, because it's adapted in certain ways so that it actually is more about building, uh, developing your coordination, your stamina, your fitness. Um, as Aikido is a good uh, sport that involves lots of flexibility and balance and coordination, it can obviously improve lots of things in your life, not just your ability to be able to do the sport itself. Okay, do you have an, do you, do you have an Aikido club? Do I have an Aikido club? Yes, I do. I do have an Aikido club. We train at Seven Islands Leisure Centre in Rotherhithe on a Saturday morning. Uh, I teach a children's class and then an adult class. And then we also train in Burma. Uh, on a Tuesday evening. How can we contact you? Uh, okay, this link down below. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got to start to do that again. Would you like to say that again? <laughs> How can we contact okay, you? Okay, so my club is a member of the British Aikido Association. So if you look on the British Aikido, Aikido Association website, then you will find all the lists of all your local clubs and Tanzai Cam, which is the name of my club, is there. Uh, but also uh, we have our own YouTube channel, so uh, Tanzakan Aikido Club. That's quite difficult to spell, but you'll be able to find it. Uh, and I do believe they've got some very good members. Yes. <laughs> so well, thank you. Um, am, am I allowed to ask you a question? Yeah. If you want to join the class, there will be a phone number down below. <laughs> So Isabella, how nice to be sitting on this side of the table to be able to <laughs> ask you some questions. So I understand that you do Aikido. Yes, I do. Mm, I do. And what is it you enjoy about doing Aikido? I really enjoy Aikido because it's good exercise. Mm -hmm. You learn a lot of skills like flexibility, like you begin to, you learn how to be a bit more quicker. Yeah. And then like you learn how to pay more attention to different things. And it's a lot of fun and it's just better than just st staying on the phone yes definitely. and like just to be not outside but to be inside and to do something else and do you think it's a benefit the fact that you actually get to interact with other children yes because um 
basically. Yeah, because I have, because there's not really a lot of girls, there's mostly boys. Mm -hmm. So it is a bit more different to talk to boys than yeah. a girl. Um, I do have a couple of friends that are girls. It is a lot of fun to meet new people yeah. and yeah. Mm, very good, very good. <laughs> well, you're an excellent student, Isabel. Thank you. <laughs> So one of the things that makes Tamiki Aikido different to other types of Aikido is that we do uh, sport Aikido, so we take part in competitions. Have you ever taken part in a competition? I've taken part in a competition before. I won the trophy for under 10s. Oh, fantastic. I got a gold medal for um, Ninindori. Yeah. yeah. For the three people, two attackers and one defender. Yeah. If you want to see that video, that I will be up here. <laughs> so go and check it out! <laughs> okay, Vanda, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Arigato! <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice evening. Thank you very much. Bye! Isabella. Take care. Bye bye! <laughs> Okay guys, so that's the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit my website www.wpbella.com See ya. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Ding! So you'll be notified every time I post something new. Like, comment, share. And I'll see you guys. Yay! In the next video. Bye! Let's get this out. Don't scream, okay? Look at it. I'm so scared right now. It's, gonna, it's not jumping! <laughs> I guess that was pretty. Now let's capture it. <laughs> <laughs>